All right, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be building the skimmer. And the skimmer is going to be comprised of one, two, three, four parts. It's going to have a main body, and it's going to have two fins, and it's going to have an air scoop. And that air scoop is going to pull air underneath the skimmer to make it float on a cushion of air. But we have to create this on here. They gave you directions in my PLTW, and I don't like them. So I want to utilize our materials and our space a little bit more efficiently. So we're going to start with a file folder here. When we start with a file folder, we need to create the main body. And the main body is 4 inches wide and 11 inches long. But this is not 4 by 11, so we have to mark it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my ruler right along the edge of my paper here. And when I get to exactly, precisely 4 inches, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mark the corner of my paper there. Then I'm going to come down any old distance that's not 11 inches or more. And I'm going to say 4 inches. I'm going to get about as perpendicular to the paper as I can. I'm going to put another dot. So I've got a dot there and I've got a little mini dot here. And that is 4 inches from this edge. This one is 4 inches from this edge. So then I know that I can take and I can connect these two together. Wait a second. Here's 11 inches. This is 4 inches and 4 inches. So I can connect these two and go past and go straight down to 11 inches. So now I have a line that is 11 inches long and 4 inches from the edge. But I need a line that's 11 inches from this edge too, or along this edge. So I'm going to take, I'm going to put a mark right at 11 inches. So now I can connect the end of this 11 inch line with the, this dot here. And when I do that, I have got my main body. So there's my main body. Now, this is just the outline, but my main body needs runners on either side. And my runners are going to be a half an inch from each edge. So I'm going to lay my ruler up here. I'm going to get right on the outside of my line. And then, since I need a half inch at each edge, I'm going to come in from the edge on this side. I'm going to come in a half inch. And I'm going to come in a half inch on this edge as well. Then I'm going to come down here, and you know it. I need a half inch on this side and a half inch on this side. Now, I could draw these lines, but I have to tell you a secret. We need the first three inches to be cut and the last eight inches to be folded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my ruler on here. I'm going to put my ruler. I have one, two, three inches. And at that point, I am going to want to change from a solid line like that. And then that solid line is indicating a cut. And then the rest of my line, I am going to do a dotted line. And when I do a dotted line, the dotted line is going to indicate that I am folding. So I have three inches of a solid line, which means a cut, and then I have the rest of it, which is a dotted line, which means fold. So I'm just going to redo the same thing on this side. Come down and make sure that my ruler is lined up with my dots here and here, and that my end is lined up here. So I'm going to come down. I'm going to do my dotted line. I keep going until I get to three inches, and from three inches all the way to the end, I'm going to draw a solid line. So this is eight inches of fold, and this is three inches of cut. Now when I fold this over, it'll make the vertical pieces of my, my skimmer. Now, this is where I diverge largely from the way that they give you the instructions online. Since this is going to be a cut and it's an instantaneous shape, I don't need to draw my shapes anywhere else. I could use this straight line that already exists as my straight line. So my fins are supposed to be three inches wide. So I've got three inches wide, six inches wide, and then the air scoop is supposed to fit inside here, which is three inches wide. So I've got to create a three inch wide by three and three quarter inch wide air scoop. I got to do two three inches. So three, three, and three and three fourths, which I'll explain later, 
has to be here. So three, three, and three and three quarters is, that's right, nine and three quarters. Now, if I come in here, lay my, lay my ruler here, and I want it to just overlap. So I have nine and three quarters, which ends up being right here. And I'm going to come and draw my line all the way down. Now it should kind of overlap. It just makes that extra bowl. Okay. Now these need to be three inches. So right at three inches, I'm going to draw a dot. I'm going to come down here at three inches. I'm going to draw a dot. Now I need to go from this three inch mark to this three inch mark to make a line that is three inches away from this. So nine and three quarters. Ever so nine and three quarters, yep. Nine and three quarters. Across. So now I have nine and three quarters. And I'm gonna connect these lines to finish off my shape. But you need two fins. Each fin is in fact three inches. Now I could have done this when I started, but I did so three inches, six inches, first fin, second fin, three and three quarters is the last one. Now we are going to have to come in from this edge three eighths of an inch. I'm going to come in three eighths. I'm going to make a mark. And then I'm going to have to come in from that 3 eighths. And then I'm going to have to come in from this one 3 eighths. So I'm going to come back 1 eighth, 2 eighths, 3 eighths, and make a mark. And these are for our folds that we're going to have to do. Now I'm going to come to this opposite side. I'm going to put a mark at 3 inches, at 6 inches, and then at nine and three quarters and I have to come in from six I have to come in three eighths one two three eighths and then I'm going to come in three eighths one eighth two eighths three eighths now the interesting thing is I've got to give one inch one eighth of an inch relief on either side and I'll tell you why in a second so I'm going to put an R on that one okay so I have a mark at three inches a mark at six inches, a mark at six and three eighths inches, mark at, forgive me, nine and three eighths inches. So here we go. I'm going to connect these because we need to connect and make the shapes for our fins. That's fin number one. This is fin number two that I messed up. Fin number two. And then this 3 8 inch line in is going to be a dotted line. And this 3 8 inch line is going to be a dotted line. Because these are folds. Uh, now, what is this relief here? We need this to be a scoop and it'll be apparent why the scoop is. And what I'll do is I'll try to edit some uh, footage of what it is we're building beforehand. So I'm gonna connect from that R dot to the corner of our scoop. And then I'm gonna try to go from this R to this corner. Okay, so now this part here is going to be cut away, and this is going to be the air scoop. So this here is going to be cut away. Now, our air scoop, or our, our fins, have to be not a perfect triangle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come off of this end a half inch, and I'm going to come off of this end a half inch, and then I'm going to do the same thing vertically here. So I'm going to come in a half inch this way. I'm going to come in a half inch this way. 
then I'm going to connect those two dots so from here to there and then we're going to cut this piece away that's going to be cut away and then I'm going to cut this one lining up so that my dots are connected So now I will cut this piece away. So this is going to be the vertical fins, left and right. This will be the air scoop that goes underneath. So when we look at all this, it's very complicated, but let's put some measurements on it. Boom. So the body is 4 inches wide. It's 11 inches long. The dotted lines are 8 inches. The cuts along that half inch line when it comes in. So this is a half inch in, a half inch in. Eight inches is a fold. This last three inches is a cut. And then this whole distance is nine and three quarters. We came in a half inch, came up a half inch to draw our pieces that are, we're going to cut off. And then we're going to make sure that this is three by three, three by three with a little half inch facets on the end. Now, we come into this one. This air scoop here. Remember, the air scoop, this is an eighth inch. From the end to here is three-eighths of an inch. Three-eighths of an inch, a little eighth inch reveal here. And then, we're going to take it all the way to the corner. Because we're going to put glue on this. So this is going to get glue and this here is going to get glue. We're going to glue that underneath the main body so it scoops air underneath the car. Now I'm going to go ahead I'm going to cut these out and we'll glue them all together.